Good morning from Austin's Metal Mafia. How are you guys doing? Hey, welcome back to the channel. Um, we got a busy day ahead of us, and we got some exciting stuff in front of us, and we got exciting news. But first, I want you guys to check out the sunset, or sunset, my lord, sunrise this morning. Pretty cool. Um, we're blessed to have such a view out here. But, uh, man, we've got some work going on, and... I want to show you guys first please help out the channel by hitting the like and subscribe button and uh, don't forget that little notification bell to keep up with us and see what we're doing but uh, I want to show you guys we got a full slate First one we got outside here, we got a Pontiac that the fan will not quit running on. We're gonna get that fixed up. And the floorboard's wet. We hope it is not a, you know, the dreaded heater core. I hope that's not it. And then Dodge truck right here, um, Cummins diesel, need some transmission work. And, got the jeep here the jeep is needing uh a head put back on because it has all the exhaust seats that is not in good shape this challenger over here that harley's working on uh it's getting completely tore down because we have two boxes full of hot rod parts to put inside that engine cam all forged internals and everything and we are getting this thing ready to pro charge 2016 challenger rt and harley is getting the transmission pulled off right now so we can get it on the engine stand and start pulling it down get the rotating assembly out let's check out this tractor here this tractor i got a video coming from it and uh, it's been quite the adventure. So this tractor was getting hot and shutting off. Uh, we found that was a fuel pump was loose. Uh, the fuel pump was leaking, so it was sucking air and a lot of stuff going on there. So we ended up replacing the fuel pump and putting a new one on, getting the tank cleaned out and everything. I'll see if I can show you guys the pump here. Yeah, that little shiny pump right there was loose on the engine, sucking in fuel for air and causing some problems. And the next thing on the laundry list was is that brakes did not work. Well, this brake, it works fine. But this brake, not so much. And I'll show you why. So, on these tractors, you got this little spot down here there's a cotter pin that's underneath here, right there. Let's see, make sure I'm, yeah, that cotter pin right there is supposed to be your drain. Well, that cotter pin got full of dirt and this got to a solid cavity and it filled up with water, filled up with water, everything rusted up, everything. And it took extreme measures to get it apart. I mean to the point of taking a torch to getting this out because these pins were 100% seized when you go apart. So, this is the uh, final drive transfer assembly and this is your brake drum, their flywheel. So we got new parts coming for that. And we've got another Dodge coming that needs injectors. It's going to be a really busy week. So as you can see, there ain't no time <laughs> for screwing around. We got the Challenger, the Jeep, the tractor, a couple vehicles outside, and we got a lot more coming. 
we got some really cool videos coming up. The off-grid part four is coming out. And then we'll do a video of the Challenger build as this engine's going together. So quite a bit. So hey guys, like I'm saying, please like and subscribe and stay tuned. Share it with your friends and uh, tell them what's going on in Austin's Metal Mafia. And something else really cool. So we closed yesterday or Friday on Evansville Performance Power Sports. Evansville Performance Power Sports has been a business about 10 years deep in Evansville's community, Evansville, Indiana, and they work on motorcycles, Harley Davidson, uh, metrics, sport bikes, you know, stuff like that. And uh, we bought them out and they are retiring. So now we have us a shop in Evansville as well, and we are ever expanding. So you'll see a lot of stuff coming out on that. And uh, pretty cool, that's uh, the phone number of that place is 812-402-DINO, because we have a motorcycle dyno there, and we bought that too. So really cool, got some videos coming up. I made one short so far, but you guys, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, please be extraordinary. Keep striving to be the best you can. And uh, I hope to see you guys leave some comments and check us out and have some more subscribers. Please keep it up. And uh, thank you guys for watching.